हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ पूर्वा कोमस पिल्लेवार वी आर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ भारतीय विद्यापीठ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग फॉर वुमेन्स माय टीममेट्स आर मीनल कोरे सिद्धि जाधव एंड स्वर्गा मोने आर टॉपिक नेम इज फ्लाइट प्राइस प्रडिक्शन सो द टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री इज चेंजिंग फास्ट एंड दिस इज अट्रैक्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रैवलर्स इच यो The airline industry is considered as one of the most uh, sophisticated industry in using complex pricing strategies. Nowadays, flight prices are quite unpredictable. The ticket prices change frequently. Customers are seeking to get the lowest price for their tickets, while airline companies are trying to keep their overall revenue as high as possible. Using technology. it is actually possible to reduce the uncertainty of flight price, uh, prices so here we will be predicting the flight prices using efficient machine learning techniques so so first let's have a look at our code first we will import the necessary libraries import training data and display the first five rows to take the overall review of the data We will check whether the data contains any null values using is any and sum method, and then drop the any and values using drop any, so that there are no discrepancies in our data by which we can predict precisely. Now that our data is clean with no any and values, we will have a look at the data types. It can be observed. the date of journey departure time arrival time have been assigned as object by default we will convert these data type into time stamp to use this column for prediction now we will separate the column date of journey into journey day and journey month to help our machine learning model understand and use the column for prediction after doing so we will delete the date of journey column which will no longer be useful to us now we will be dealing with departure time mm, yeah now we will be dealing about the departure time and arrival time feature because the machine learning model won't be able to understand what time it is or what day it is we will be fetching minutes and hours from both of these columns now we will be processing the duration column as in some cases there is no hour term or minutes term in the column we will be using the split function and then append 0 hour or 0 minute wherever needed now let's separate the duration attribute into duration hours and duration minutes using the apply function to extract the categorical data or continuous features we will iterate every column in the data set and whosoever has the data type object we will consider that column as categorical data now we will handle the categorical data and basically perform every uh, basically perform feature encoding because machine learning works only on numerical data to begin with first we will plot a box plot we can come up with a conclusion that jet airways has the highest price whereas other airlines had almost similar median with the minimum function uh, fluctuations airlines with one or two stops has many outliers hence their prices varies on the contrary price for airlines with four stops is not fluctuating here we will be changing the airline feature into integer format using one hot encoding all the features are converted into integer values using using the get dummies function we will apply the get dummies function on the source and destination column as well the root columns mainly tell us that how many cities they have taken to reach from source to destination so so we split the root column on the basis of the separator this separator 
To extract the information regarding the NEN values, we replace those NEN values with none. Now dealing with the total stops attribute and assign 1 for 1 stop, 2 for 2 stops and so on. Now also we need to get rid of this high dimensionality issue we will be using labor encoder. Now we will be concatenating categorical data frame with all the data frames that we have defined earlier. For this we will be using concat from pandas library. Also we will be dropping the unnecessary columns present in our data. Checking for outliers in the price column by plotting some plots such as subplot, district plot and box plot. Median plays a very significant role wherever we have outliers. So we will use where, where uh, function to replace all the columns with price greater than 40,000 with the median value. Separating the independent and dependent feature. Now that all our data is numerical after label encoding, so we split the data into test and treat and drop the price co column from the test set because we have to predict the price with our test data set. The feature selection is nothing but to find the best feature that contributes uh, the most and that has good relationship with the target values. The main reason to apply feature selection is to uh, select important features so that we don't face the problem of uh, um, multiple dimensions. We will pass the independent and dependent data to the mutual info classif function. Sorting values, we also need to sort the values um, <clears throat> according to importance by which we will get to know which column contributes the most and which attribute contributes the least. <coughs> For splitting the data into train and test data, we take in 80% data from the training and remaining 20% from testing. So let us uh, define a function to predict the training score predictions, R2, uh, R square score, a mean absolute error, mean square error and a root mean square error. Similarly, we can test different methods like linear regression, decision tree regression, etc. For uh, cross-validating our model, here we will be using randomized search CV. Predicting the values for X test by plotting a distribution plot. We have achieved approximately 85% uh, of accuracy but before when we used random forest the accuracy was around 82%. That's the outcome of model hyperparameter tuning. This is all about our coding. Hello, my name is Swarga Samir Mone. Now let us see the deployment part. So here we have used Flask. So Flask is used for web framework which is used for web application. Uh, we have also used a Flask template that is a render template. So it is used for as HTML uh, file will be rendered. So that's why we have used it. We have imported Pickle. We have imported Pandas. As we know uh, Pandas is used for data analysis. Uh, we have also used a, we have also used class constructor as it takes a name of current module as an argument. So there is a route. So basically a route has URL binding with a function that is a slash predict and it also has a list of parameters to be forwarded. Now here is the integration part. So for integration purpose we have uh, defined a function predict 
in that uh, we have taken departure time that is a uh, date date of journey uh, with respect to day and month uh, the departure time with respect to hour and minute similarly arrival time with respect to hour and minute then the duration so uh, duration hour is arrival hour minus departure hour duration minute is arrival minute minus departure minute we have taken uh, total stops the number of stops then talking about the airline uh, if you want to select jet airways then it will be 1 and rest all 0 uh, if you select indigo it will be 1 rest all 0 if you want uh, air india then it will be 1 rest all 0 so basically uh, we have applied this logic to source and destination as well so let us see the source part yeah so if your source is uh, Kolkata then uh, it will be 1 rest all 0 if your source is Mumbai it will be 1 rest all 0 similarly uh, with the destination here if your destination is uh, Cochin it will be 1 rest all 0 and similar with Kolkata it, uh, Kolkata will be 1 rest all 0 now uh, here is a, a prediction model uh, where we get all the values that is uh, total stops, uh, journey day, journey month, departure hour, departure minute and all the values. So uh, whatever output uh, we will get, we will uh, round it up with two values after the decimal. Then we, uh, then we send the text to the flight price, the particular value and then uh, we send it to our home.html is our web page and lastly uh, here we have used uh, app.run so uh, it is used to run the application of particular development server and uh, it has a debug property so basically a debug, a debug provides a basic useful debugger to track all the errors if we get any in the application so uh, this is all about the deployment part now we will see the HTML and the web page Hello all, myself Siddhi Zadha. Now let us discuss about our HTML code. The main motive to use HTML in our project is to create web page for our output. Basically we all know that HTML is hypertext markup language and we use many types of tags in the code. Same way we have also used n number of tags in our code. We will discuss about some important tags over here. Now, uh, firstly, we can see Meta Care Set. Meta Care Set UTF-8. It is a backward compatible and works in all known browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, etc. Uh, title Bar. Nextly, we will go to Title Bar. In Title Bar, what title? Whatever we have mentioned in Title Bar that's going to be the title of our web page so our web page title is flight price prediction then we have also used bootstrap and css it basically describes how html are how html elements are to be displayed on screen and believe me guys it saves a lot of our work and it can also control the layout of multiple web pages. Now let us move to body tag. Okay, so body tag defines the document's body. It contains all the contents of HTML document like heading, paragraphs, images, hyperlinks, etc. Then in body tag, we have used navbar. Nav bar is basically a navigation bar. Uh, we have used nav bar, inverse nav bar, uh, fixed top. So it means that navigation bar is fixed at the top of the page. It stays visible in fixed position, independent to page scroll. After division, after that, we have used division class. So Division class or tag is used as a container. It mainly defines the division or the section in HTML. Here we can see we have used 
cards class card is used for creating a basic card also for placing a content inside a class we can see we have uh, the first card the title of our first card is departure date okay uh, so similarly we have used uh, n number of cards in our uh, code uh we have used n number of cards in our code like departure date arrival date oh, and more like source destination and uh, stoppage and which airline you want to travel so in this card options are provided we have to select option as per our requirement for every card to predict the price of our airfare for after selecting the options we have to press submit button to see the output we have also used some scripts uh, in our uh, code to uh, to include external javascript file in our code we use this tag with src attribute so yeah this was all about our html code so yeah this was the abstract for our html code now let's move to our output our web page so now uh, in this web page we have to select a date and time a particular date and time for traveling i'll select any random date and time okay or uh, similarly we have to also give arrival date and time so, yeah and after that we have to select a source Oh, so we we have options here: Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, and Chennai. I'll select Delhi, and for destination, I'll select Kolkata. Okay, so we can also choose if ah uh, if you want stop or non-stop flight. So I'll select non-stop, and uh, in airline, I'll select Air India. So now let's submit our data. Okay, so after submitting the data here, we have a price. We have a predicted price for our flight. So yeah, this was all about our project, flight price prediction. Thank you.